For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on your Thursday, March 14th, my name is Ian Kelly. Here are some of the stories we're following at this hour. No injuries reported from a pre-dawn Wednesday fire at 73 Adams Hill Road in Newfane. Vermont State Police say the occupants heard and smelled the fire and were able to leave safely. Damage to the multifamily residence was moderate. Investigators say the fire originated in the enclosed breezeway area of the first floor apartment. A cause has not been determined but was not considered suspicious. About 70 Brattleboro Town meeting members spent two hours last night hearing a discussion of municipal issues on the annual meeting warning. A school budget discussion will take place March 20th. The annual meeting takes place March 23rd at Brattleboro Union High School. Vermont State Police from the Westminster Barracks conducted a saturation patrol on Interstate 91 throughout Wyndham and Windsor Counties on Wednesday. The focus of the patrol was to detect aggressive driving, speeding, handheld portable electronic devices violations, and to promote safe driving on Vermont roadways. During the patrol, troopers initiated 12 traffic stops. They issued five tickets and seven warnings for various motor vehicle violations. Vermont has joined the coalition of states challenging President Trump's declaration of a national emergency in the diversion of funds appropriated by Congress for other purposes. The coalition challenging the declaration includes 20 attorney generals. The group of states alleged the Trump administration's emergency declaration and diversion of funds is unconstitutional and otherwise unlawful. The group seeks to block the Trump administration's emergency declaration, the unauthorized construction of the border wall, and any illegal diversion of congressionally appropriated funds. In WTSA Sports, the Celtics host the Sacramento Kings tonight, tip-off at 7.30. Bruins still on their road trip. They're in Winnipeg tonight, face-off against the Jets at 8 p.m. And the Patriots have re-signed some veterans, including cornerback Jason McCourty to a two-year deal and wide receiver Philip Dorsett to a one-year deal. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on your Thursday, March 14th, my name is Ian Kelly.